For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. Good news for commuters in Claremont. The long-awaited improved interchange of US 27 and State Road 50 finally opened on Wednesday. Rod Dixon took over as publisher of the Daily Commercial and South Lake Press on Monday. His arrival comes almost a month after Halifax Media Group purchased the papers from Harbor Point Media. After interviewing over 30 people to be Umatilla's next police chief, Isabella County Sheriff Leo Mayo Dzuski has accepted. The new top cop starts January 4th. 16,000 acres in the southeast corner of Lake County could soon be unlike anything else this area has ever seen. The Wellness Way sector would be a hub for high-tech healthcare jobs and other health-centric industries. County officials are planning a joint meeting with Claremont officials concerning the plan's objectives soon. It was another huge success. Thousands of people strolled down Donnelly Street in downtown Mount Dora last weekend during the 29th annual Mount Dora Craft Fair. More than 400 vendors from around the country showcased their crafts, jewelry, photography, paintings, and wood carvings. If you haven't already heard, Liberty Christian Prep has the tallest basketball player in the United States on their team this year. Taco Fall is 7 foot 4 inches tall. So if you want to see the Liberty Lions in action, the season opens on November 7th. And Lake County's Adopt-A-Lake has posted its 2014 calendar photo finalists. You can see them right here on LSTV throughout the day and cast your vote each and every day now through November 13th at this website. For more information on these stories, visit dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News in 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo.